new game, continue Windows, no old file selection because Sega is just like, eh, we don't need file selection for these games when you can just create a new account. Um, with, I can see why, but it's much easier just having save files. Hey guys, it's Gum here, and we are back for the final bonus video for the Sonic Forces. And last time I showed off the all the customization, or the clothing options that you can equip for the rookie. And, huh, what do you know? Oh, about that. And so gave my thoughts on the game, and this time we'll. So then, from this video, I decided I really wanted to do is just show my character off and, and all the cutscenes with his completed clothing options here. Which I was also gonna do some of my other characters, like uh, like these here, here, but I decided it, it, you know, the video will be too long if I do that, if I keep doing do all cutscenes with them. So, decided that I'm gonna play through all cutscenes with my custom, my rookie, and then show my friends rookies that I made for them um, in like one cutscene for this cutscene so that's how I'm going to be doing it here and if you're not subscribed yet please do subscribe we're trying to hit 1000 subscribers before 2022 is over and if you do then I appreciate it and if I don't sound as enthusiastic as I normally am I'm just feeling a little tired right now I had a big long day today so so we're just gonna go through all cutscenes that have only the rookie in them. Well, except for this one here because it's just gonna play the same. Sure, the rookie doesn't make an appearance in here, but it's he's just in his default outfit from when you start, or from when you first start him up. As you can see here, no clothing options, just the uh, shoes that orange shoes there. Uh, just kind of different colors and tails is but yeah I'm not gonna go for that one but all the other cutscenes through the rookie that uh, is in I'll go through them such as cutscenes 4, 9, 14, 16, I think 17, 18, 20, 21, 22, 23 and I don't, I don't think he's in 24 yeah, 25, 26, 27, 28, so all those cutscenes in. There is that one cutscene to get midway through the stage, the infinite boss fight over there, but I don't think I'll go through that again, but yeah. yeah so we're just going to go through all these here, and I won't be talking much about this because I'm going to be quiet while I do it so you can hear the, the cutscenes, even though, yeah, we've already heard it before, but eh, I'll just do I'll just go through it again, and if, as if I have nothing to talk about here, you know, but, yeah, so, you know, that was probably one of the best, because as I said, that I just, uh, had a long day today, but yeah, as you can see, I'm in full oh, costume here, full we clothed here, and so, yeah, <laughs> and I don't think I mentioned this yet, but yeah, going to Shaughnessy's for his charming voice is a, is a little different than how it was in Generations. Because in Generations, it makes Charmy sound more like how Tails does in this game, but yeah, and <clears throat> but in, yeah, in this game made him made, sound a little different, which I can see why, because if you compare the Shaughnessy's voice in Generations, to, uh, to go on with Shaughnessy's Tails' voice. You can kind of see why. <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> and um, I guess a couple of other things I didn't say during my thoughts on the game is that I felt like Classic Sonic was really unnecessary. Which, Luckily, the Frontier is not, not not including Classic Sonic, and hopefully, and he did say Sonic did say I'm sure we'll run into him again, and the Comfort Tales, but uh, but 
Yeah. <laughs> but they do run into him again. Hopefully it's not for a long, long time. Like, the gap between... <laughs> yeah, like, generations of forces were six years. So, that's not... Honestly, it's not a bad, like, gap in time, but... It could have, could have been bigger. Yes, we have. Um, Rookie's not in the rest of that cutscene, so I'm just not. I'm just gonna skip over that for now. <clears throat> but yeah, there's some. You know, yeah, well, well, it could also be five years as opposed to six, and when you think about it, because the teaser trailer for uh, for Sonic Forces came out in 2016, but. That just depends on how you look at it. <laughs> yeah, it's what everyone should really take in whenever they're just doing something that you feel too nervous about. Don't let you feel on you or, or nerves get on you. <laughs> Yeah, now we're we'll just okay. Yeah, this one. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm just watching this cutting again here, and then after this is the uh, IDW comics, just continuation of forces. Because but no, no, but I do. Of course, I'm not gonna be reading through the comics because one, I don't have them. Two, two, I just don't think need the necessarily to go over them because I think other people go do that stuff, so there's no point me doing that. <laughs> and, but, but yeah, I will say I did see a few issues that were past uh, issue 32. I'm not sure how many though, but yeah, yeah, but they were. They're quite interesting. The, the writing has been from after going from issue 33 and on towards is Evan Stanley, not Ian Flynn. Because, yeah, Ian Flynn's writing for has involvement in Sonic Frontiers, which is a good sign. And because by the looks of the story, the tone seems to be a step in the right direction. Yeah. Yeah. Again, no space could have been like its own actual own stage, not just a double boost out of there. Yeah, you know, because that just felt like it was a huge missed opportunity. Would have been cool if they actually like brought in a built this black hole thing brought in a building or something. That would be cool if they did that, but they didn't. If I have anything else to say about the IDW comics that were after from the, uh, I guess I'll call it the Evan Stanley era so far, you know, with, because she, she's the one writing co those comics, well, so far it seemed interesting, writing seems on par being Flynn, maybe trying to go a little bit closer to getting shot out of more and kill to than just a Sega mandate. Uh, but I don't know, but it's just me and I just noticed like we had disappeared in behind that the bottom of that ship there. <laughs> that was interesting. I don't think I noticed that before until now. Yeah, it's always we could have been a, a stage itself here, like actually fighting all the uh, the illusion, the shadow, chaos. Metal Sonic and Zavox here. 
we actually had to oh, have a, it was like a boss fight. I'm really cool, we actually did do that was something oh, something that, that you could do. <laughs> yeah, that would have been an interesting idea for a boss fight. And ironically, I think this is yeah, the first time we kind of feel that Sonic says long time no see in the game since, like, I think Sonic Riders Zero Gravity. No, it's kind of crazy to think of, because that's kind of like a staple of the series, kind of. <laughs> but, hmm. Well, it's nice that you see it here and there. Hmm. Yeah, there's no way to speed up the cutscenes here to cut to a certain part here. I had to actually watch them all the way through, because Rookie appears at the end of them here. So, that... That's something unfortunate, <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, <laughs> honestly, I feel like would would have been kind of an even crazier idea if they just did if that was the moon instead of a sun, because then it could be like a, a reference to Legend of Zelda. But I think it's more. Did you want to ask? I can't, don't no. I think that's the name, but you. Legend of Zelda, Elder Majora's Master, or something. I think that I'm not sure. I'm not too familiar with the Zelda games. Because the only one I played was mm, Wind Waker. <laughs> for the GameCube, because. Which I like to get my ga the game, but it's expensive. Which I could also get the Wii U version, but. Problem with that is, since it's on the Wii U, I'm not sure if I'll be playing that one much. But, hmm. Ah, oh, well. Uh, Weird because I want to get the GameCube version, but it's more expensive. But the Wii U version is cheaper. But I don't know. But since it's on the Wii, I'm like nah or something. <laughs> uh, hmm. so, yeah, I don't know. I'm co it's interesting, but yeah. <laughs> but hey, maybe this is, there could be a reference to that, but just much more bigger and threatening looking. <laughs> Plus, if you look closely there, Shadow was smiling in that cut shot we saw him there. Not sure why. And then he actually smiles again in this next shot here. Hmm. It's not something you see much from Shadow actually smiling. Which, the only times I can really think of him seeing him smile is in Sonic X. Okay. That, because that's honestly the only thing I can re really think of. Times where I can think of where I see him actually smiling. <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah. So, well, almost done with the cutscene to you. <clears throat> it's pretty much this entire world, and that's kind of it here for me showing my rookie and all the cutscenes. <clears throat> well, I can also show the one in the infinite fight, fight with this here, which I guess I could do that. That sense, you know, might as well. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so I wonder if there actually was an answer to how infinite that what what actually happened to infinite there. I don't think he's appeared in the IDW comics. Maybe he just out for one vanished and disappeared somewhere. Or we just got trapped in a different dimension or something. So, it could be one of those things. I uh, could actually look that up after uh, this video is over. But, yeah. Or I'll just have to wait and see. <laughs> you know, I also just thought of something. Since, since they brought in fact the soap shoes in for this game. Couldn't they've just bought, kept the soap shoes thing in, uh, in for Sonic uh, later in later games, but yeah, it was kind of like a sponsored thing, like Adventure Two. Oh, but, yeah, plus the only thing you even see the soap soap shoes logo in the credits, because uh, it always was credit to Adventure Two. <laughs> but, I don't know. I don't know maybe there's just some, maybe there's something about it that I don't know. 
Wait. Yeah, if it was a death egg robot, they should have had, had the death egg robot from the Sonic movie too. That honestly would have been much more accurate in design wise. Wait. But, yeah. So. Well, in this case, here he just becomes Mr. Tinko. With actually, I'll just give this one spoiler, tiny spoiler for that EW comics throughout the Evan Stanley oh, I've seen so far. Well, where are they? It was a character that was actually introduced in there that was actually made by Mr. Tinko, which. I somehow did not see that coming when I first saw it. Um, but of course, it, since she was I've seen so far, I've only seen them once. So I don't have. So I have not gone back and re looked through them yet. Unlike the, I have with the Battle of Range Island saga and the Metal Violet saga. I guess in short, in the Ian Flynn era of IDW comp. <coughs> I'm like, so something. <laughs> But, yeah, so, eventually I'll have to go back through them, but first I wanted to take a look through the rest of the issues, I think, it, uh, that, yeah, the rest of the issues that I want to see for, and before I go back and re-look at them. <coughs> now, obviously, classic Sonic, it, it transitions soon back, back into his timeline, well, well, He's in that same pose as the first episode of Sonic Mania Plot Adventures. Who is in <laughs> this kinda continues there. So which is the canon timeline for that? Uh, that uh, Sonic Mania you know Adventures timeline or the Sonic Mania Plus timeline in that? Can't be both Ooh, or can it, I'm not sure. <laughs> but I don't know, but maybe it's just one of those things that's probably best not to look too into. But, because like, in Mania Plus, when you first started off, he, uh, classic Sonic, just appears out, uh, it comes out of a portal, so it could be that, but, mm, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, at least the cutscene here is actually playing that smooth, six, uh, is actually staying in sync with the audio. Oh, and that's not slowing down, which is good. That could just also be the lip syncing. Hmm. Yeah, I guess it is the was well, just the lip syncing with Vector there. You know, so might have to look back on that for a later cut when I re use a different character here. You know, so I'll I'll have to keep that in mind for later. Oh no, also I will have chapters for in the description so for which part which rookie I'm showing off off oh, throughout the video. Which yeah, the chapter thing is probably something I should try to do more, but I don't really see too many opportunities to do it at first. Could do chapters throughout the stages, but hmm I don't really see even point in that yet, but oh well. See you later, buddy. So long. <laughs> okay, I just wanted to do that part correctly this time. And well, my voice wasn't getting drowned out by the, uh, by the, um, <laughs> the music and the cutscene. Yeah, you know what? Just for a quick bonus, we'll go through the. Oh, wait. We're gonna do somewhere here this infinite fight. Oh, you don't get an option to turn super in this one. Because. Hmm. Well, I don't know. Oh, you don't. I guess you don't get an option to turn super at all during the boss fights. But, hmm. Oh, well. I guess it makes sense. 
since I never guide it, even though it wouldn't be cool to do the boss fights in Super before. Well, I think you can't could do the boss fights in uh, Super Sonic in Generations. But I don't think I've tested that out. But yeah, so we're just going to do this one here. When we go to like the cutscene where you're supposed to. Where you're some where the rookie comes in, and then we'll go go on and switch to different character. Yeah, but yeah, we're just going up through this fight here, like here with the masked clown, which which yeah, might as well just admit have some use for that name. Here was the masked clown. <laughs> okay, yeah. Ah, what? Okay, there we go. It wouldn't let me. I guess it didn't help jump high enough or jump too early. Okay, then. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Yeah, because I think that cutscene would have been an option to view in the in the theater, but uh, they didn't go for that. But here yeah, now we're switching. We do at least one, and as I said, we'll switch. But well, we do one cutscene for each just to save a little time. Because otherwise, the video would be like probably an, over an hour long, and try to choose like a, a random cutscene that one I think would suit it. To kill, uh, would be good here to do for them, so well, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, it still looks good with those angry, sh sharp looking eyes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, what? Hold on, wait, man. I can, what? I know you can do this. Moment to shine. Keep going and don't let your fear own you. <laughs> yeah, I gotta clip that and show that to Mac at some point. <laughs> I mean, that as well as. Well, <laughs> but, yeah. As, I mean, like, the process of switching between rookies here isn't too hard, it's just, yeah, it's just a little bit of more, but, uh, more button clicking to do stuff like that. Yeah, so, so it's not really too hard here. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, go for this one. And then, hmm. Yeah, so you've got a phantom movie prototype, but I don't think it's enough for you to use. But you know what? I don't think it's enough to just have you for a part of a cutscene. So, I'll give him some slack and give him for like a full taste of this one here. <laughs> Uh, no, I'm not trying to p play favorites, because I don't have favorites. <laughs> That's for a friend. You know, maybe they could have also bought nose, could actually bring nose face back in a future game, but this time have it more fleshed out. Who knows? That could be a good idea. Oh, oh, oh. Where are you going? Do we fucking kill? I think the wire would actually snap where the wire was coming from, not where it was being attached to. But I don't know, that's just me.
And then I'll, oh, okay, then I'll switch. Let's jump over to the next one, heal. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you may have noticed that at first some of these were it didn't have their full clothing rendered in yet, but that was because it was still loading them in. Nope, wrong thing. <laughs> and now go, Griffin, do this. <laughs> And then I would say, I don't remember you coming into my life at all, dickhead. Because <laughs> <laughs> nothing can kill this guy. <laughs> an option just on the world map and now I just have to click the pause button. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Wonder which one I should do. Hmm. Okay. I guess we could do this one. Hmm. Okay. Maybe I could have chosen a better cutscene instead of this one for no one here. Yeah. <laughs> but oh well, it is was what it was. <laughs> something else but yeah sure just give Nolan one more spotlight here hey, that was great. Like a well machine. Fighting a well machine. okay go Nolan that got it and okay now we have yeah, one more I want to show off and then that that'll be it I figure out which one I want to do for this last one And so, uh, I'm surprised no SOS has showed up on the hill. Mm. Yeah, I'll just do the last cutscene here. Here was for, for this last one here for Kirsten. <laughs> yeah, sure, this one maybe drag yeah, out a little longer than some of the rest, but oh wow. Yeah, I guess the lip syncing for Vector there was just a little bit, it was a little messed up. Uh, that, okay, now it's a little wet, but out of sync. Okay, maybe it was, wasn't out of sync at all, maybe it was just me, but I'm not sure. But most, part of, most of the lip syncing's kind of lined up. Uh, oh well, it is what it is, I guess.
so long. <laughs> I couldn't resist doing that, but that's that too. <laughs> I was almost tempted to say something else, but oh well. So I guess so I'll just shift that back, back to my kill too, and then that's it. It heal stem gets us. Just... How did I complete that one there? I didn't even change head on button. <laughs> oh well. Oh, but yeah, that's pretty much. Yeah, that's pretty much it for the final bonus video. I really wanted to do. Wasn't there anything spectacular or anything I needed to do really it's just a little extra thing i wanted to do basically but yeah that's pretty much it so i'll see you all next time for when we start sponge rock square friends battle for bikini bottom original for the gamecube so i'll see you all next time